Once upon a time, in the peaceful town of Goldshire, there lived a young farm boy named Jason. Jason spent his days baling hay, cleaning the lower regions of potbelly pigs, and shoveling fecal matter in his parents' barn. Sadly, his parents died. Jason returned home from walking the pigs one day to find the farmhouse in ruins and his parents' bloody corpses smoldering in the flames inside. We now begin our tale as we join Jason, mourning the death of his parents, sobbing like a sissy boy on the side of the road. <laughs> Excuse me, young peasant. I couldn't help but notice that you have a terribly obnoxious tendency of crying like a pansy. My parents are dead. <laughs> Oh, how terrible. <laughs> Say, I was wondering if you might happen to know where I could find the Chalice of Silvermoon. Who are you? Me? I am the great and powerful Paladin Samson. Who are you? My name's Jason. Nice to meet you, Jonathan. So, about that chalice. I I'm sorry. I'm just a simple farm boy. I really don't know much about the outside world. What does this chalice thing do, anyway? You've never heard of the Chalice of Silvermoon? Um, no, I can't say that I have. I just told you I haven't really spent that much time away from home. Oh, the inhumanity of it all! Uh, what? The Chalice of Silvermoon is the greatest possession a man can hold. It is the most amazing creation in all of Azeroth. What's it do? It gives the bearer the power of... Omnipotence. Wow. That's pretty cool. I've always wondered what it'd be like to know everything. Oh. Is that what omnipotence means? I always thought it meant you couldn't get an erection. No, I think that's impotence. Why would anyone want an object that prevented you from having an erection? I don't know. I just thought it sounded cool. Besides, I figured I'd sell it at the auction house when I got it. Oh. But not anymore. I'd rather know everything. So, where is this chalice, anyway? Hmm? Oh, I think you just hold it in your offhand or something. No, I mean, where is it physically, in the world, at the present moment? Oh, I don't know. That's why I asked you. Right, of course. So, you're a paladin, huh? Yes, a very powerful paladin. That's cool. I've always wanted to be a paladin. Oh, really? Then you shall be my apprentice. Really? That's awesome! Come, Jeremy. Let us seek out the chalice so that we may live out our days as the most impotent men in the world. That's omnipotent. Omnipotent. Right. I knew that. So the duo set out for the city of Stormwind. Stay close and don't touch anything. I've already explored all of Elwyn Forest and I know the chalice isn't here. We're going to Ironforge to begin our search of Dunmoro. Yes, sir! They walked quickly through the Dwarven District to the Deep Run Tram. Five hours later, they arrived in Ironforge. I specifically told you not to jump off the tram, and what did you do? I... um... I jumped off the tram. You jumped off the tram! I'm sorry! I, I just wanted to look around a little. It was so... pretty. Never mind, we're here now. Just try to stay on the bridge when we cross it to go out to the gates. That trench is really annoying. What trench? The one that's right... Ah! There. How do I get out of here? Damn it, Jacob! The name's Jason, actually! You keep your mouth shut, farm boy! Walk over there to get out and meet me at the gate. <sighs> Maybe an apprentice wasn't such a good idea. It took them nearly two hours to actually leave the city because of all the lag. But eventually, Samson and Jason ventured out into Dunmoro. They followed the path through a tunnel filled with trogs and quickly became lost when they reached the other side. I'm pretty sure we were supposed to take a left at the fork in the road. No, we went the right way, Jackson. Jason. Check your map again. Yeah, I'm looking at it, and it very clearly says to take a left at the fork in the road. Let me see that. Oh, God! What's going on? I don't know. Greetings, outsiders. I am Ticklebur, the great gnome mage. And this is my companion, Flix. And no, we're not gay. He's a priest. He's not very good. And I can say that because he doesn't speak common. Shut up, Flix! 
Hail, O oh mighty Tickleber. I am Samson, the world-famous paladin. Really? I've never heard of you. Oh. Okay, well, maybe I'm not all that famous, but I do have a big sword. Yes, I see that. How well do you know how to use that thing? Quite well. So, now that we all know each other, we Excuse can... Excuse me! What is it now, Joey? It's Jason! Right, whatever. You forgot to introduce me. Oh, yes, of course. Tickleburr Flicks, this is my apprentice, Jethro. How do you do? Person or boy? Wow. I've never met a gnome before. They're so... small. We're not small! We're height impaired! Don't mess with me, kid. I will not hesitate to shove a fireball up your ass. Uh, of course. <laughs> height impaired. <laughs> Terribly sorry. Um... What did you say your name was again? Tickleber! Tickleber. Right. Such a good name, too. So... Um... Powerful and... Uh... Intimidating. Shut up, farm boy! So, what brings you to our humble abode? Oh, we were just passing by and... Actually, we're lost. No, we're not. We just... Yeah, okay, we're lost. Where were you trying to go? We are on a quest. A quest? Really? What kind of quest? We are in search of the Chalice of Silvermoon. Yes, the Chalice of Silvermoon. You've heard of it? No, actually, I haven't. Oh. Well, it is the greatest creation in all of Azeroth. What's it do? It gives you the power of impotence. Omnipotence. Right, omnipotence. What's that mean? It means you can't get an erection. No! It means you're all-knowing. You know everything there is to know. Nice! Well, I haven't seen it. A boomer harvest theory. Oh, Flix, I'm sorry, I forgot you were here. Flix says he knows where the chalice is. Really? Well, where is it? Where is it? Oh, he the boomer keys. Gustis are Angotame the Aldenoth. He says it's hidden in the mountains of Aldenoth. Excellent! Where's that? Oh, that makes sense. What? What did he say? He says he's never heard of the Chalice of Silvermoon, and he completely invented the mountains of Aldenoth on his own. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, laddie. Ah! Oh, God! Okay, you people really need to stop sneaking up on me. I just... Soiled myself. Beg pardon, son, but I couldn't help but notice you were talking about the Chalice of Silvermoon. Why, yes, we were. You've heard of it? Aye, laddie, I have. It's the most amazing creation in all of Azeroth. It gives you the power of impotence. Am I the only person in the entire world that knows what the word omnipotence means? Who are you, O oh mighty axe-wielding dwarven warrior? My name's not important, lad. What is important is that we get to that chalice before the Horde does. You know where it is, then? Aye. I've heard the rumors, anyway. The chalice of Chilvermoon is in... Shadow Glen. <gasps> Where's that? I don't know, but it sounds frightening. Where is this Shadow Glen, O oh mysterious dwarven warrior? Oh, it's quite a journey from here, friend. We've got to travel along the path to Ironforge and get on the Griffin to Minithil Harbor. Climb on board the boat to Oberdin, get off the boat there, and get on the Hippogriff to Rethrin Village, and walk across the island to Shadowglen, the land of the Night Elf. Great, one problem. What's that? My apprentice and I don't have that flight path. Bloody hell! Well then, we'll have to walk from here through Loch Madon and all of the wetlands to Minithal Harbor, which is no easy task for low levels such as yourselves. Hey! Who you calling low level, punk? Oh, I didn't mean nothing by it. I was just saying, it ain't gonna be easy, lads. There are terrible dangers along the way. Ha! I laugh at danger. What sort of danger are you talking about? Level 3 Defias thugs? Perhaps some level 9 murlocs? Or a level 10 elite howler boss? Isn't his name Hogger? <laughs> oh! No, no, 
no. You really gotta get out more often, lad. The path through the wetlands is loaded with level 22 crocolisks and raptors and a few level 27 orcish types. Oh. Well, maybe the chalice isn't all that special. I mean, I wouldn't want to put young Jimbo's life at stake or anything. It's Jason, you imbecile! And no crocodiles are going to scare me. Besides, I'll have you guys to take care of me if I get into trouble. Let's do this! So the party set out on their journey in search of the Chalice of Silvermoon, across the frosty mountains of Dunmorrow, <coughs> through a tiny corner of Loch Modan, <coughs> and across the crocolisk infested wetlands. Made it. Right. Now, everyone go out to the docks and get on the boat. The five of them then climbed aboard the boat to Aberdeen. Unfortunately, they all fell off when the loading screen was supposed to come up and had to swim back to the docks and try it again. But eventually, they made it across the ocean and traveled to the night elf noob village of Shadow Glen. So, where's the chalice? The chalice is hidden somewhere in Shadow Glen. Yeah, you already told us that. Where in Shadow Glen? I don't know. I was hoping we could ask someone when we got here. You there? Where is the chalice of Silvermoon? What's a chalice? No, not chalice. Chalice! And the difference is. Please forgive my. Friends, bad Scottish accent. What he means is, where is the chalice of Silvermoon? How the hell would I know? You're not very friendly, you know that? Settle down, little one. I'm not little! Uh... People, please. Listen, Mr. Night Elf. My name is Raven. Sure, whatever. I'm a rogue! I don't care. You Look, can call I... me Sneak Sneak Stab Stab! Will you shut up? Look. We're trying to find an object called the Chalice of Silvermoon. It gives the bearer the power of omnipotence. Why would you want something that keeps you from getting an erection? No, not... Never mind. We were told we could find the Chalice somewhere in Shadow Glen. Can you help us? <laughs> sure, but you're not gonna find anything here. What? There's nothing in Shadow Glen but a bunch of noob night elves and low-level crap. You mean we came all the way here for nothing?! I wouldn't say that. Let's go pay a visit to Onu in the Grove of the Ancients. Where's that? In Darkshore. We just hop on a hippogriff and... I forgot to get the flight path. <sighs> then we'll have to take a boat. Come on. Wait a second. What? I can't add you to the party. We're already full. We'll have to start a raid group. Aw, oh, man. The XP in raid group sucks oars. Yes, I know. But we don't have a choice right now. <sighs> Fine, let's go. Whoopee! And thus the journey begins. Our heroes travel to Darkshore to visit the Grove of the Ancients in hopes the Protector Onu will know where to find the Chalice of Silvermoon. Tune in next week for another exciting episode. Sneak, sneak, stab, stab! Whoopee! What's an X-Fire? Uh, some kind of extra special fiery thing? Oh, it's a blizzard! Everyone, run! <laughs> <laughs>